Why would they do this? How did they not catch this? I guess we'll never know. Maybe it's just one of life's little McGriddles. <laughs> love politics. Love anything on TV, really. Love television. Maybe a little too much. I think it started to affect my political beliefs. Like, uh, is it weird that I support gay marriage only because I think gay divorce court would be a great show? Is that weird? I think it's weird. It would be a great show. It'd be pretty good. It'd be pretty good. I've been a comedian for about 10 years, which means I don't make any money. Uh, I'm pretty broke. Uh, yeah, man. It's, I, I don't want to seem like I ought to be greedy. I just want to make enough money to be able to write a check with a straight face. It is. Every time I write a check, it's just like, keep it in, Michael, keep it in. $96, okay, yeah, whatever you say, buddy. It's going to cost me 35 but whatever. Cool. Cool. It's hard being broke, man. Whenever I'm on the road, sometimes I run out of money. You only got a dollar to eat. What do you got to do? You got to go to McDonald's. That's a sad thing as an adult because you know better. You know that McDonald's doesn't care about their food anymore. Here's, here's a perfect example. They have a sandwich on the menu right now called the McRap. Like McRap? Like McRap. For real. For real. That'd be like if you went to Taco Bell and they had a Mud Butt Bel Grande. It's not good. It's not good. Really. Really. Nobody wants that. Although, if you go to Taco Bell, you're probably going to get the Mud Butt Bell Grande. That's free with every order. How did they not catch this, McCrab? How did they not catch this? This is a billion dollar corporation. Do you have any idea how many emails were sent? How many conference calls were made? It could have been at least one dude being like, Hey, guys, I was looking for specs for this new sandwich, and uh, remember that time we were going to have that low calorie diet burrito and call it the McDiarito? Oh, kind of similar. Situation, guys. This is good. Why would they do this? How did they not catch this? I guess we'll never know. Maybe it's just one of life's little McGriddles. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. You're right. Yeah, it's hard being broke. Uh, have to shop at Aldi a lot. I don't like doing that. Oh, that is not a fun store. If you've never been to an Aldi, it's a discount grocery store, and I'm pretty sure they keep their prices low by not treating you with human dignity. Like, I think that's their business model. Like, they insult you before you even get in the store. You walk up and you see those carts locked down with this little mechanism. It's ridiculous how that's my credit score when I need collateral to get cart. It's nonsense. It isn't, the food isn't even that good there. Basically, the motto of Aldi should be here at Aldi's. That is not expired milk, no. It's fresh yogurt. That's what that is. Yeah. Put some blueberries in it, move it over a shelf, it's still good. It's tough, man. You ever buy less than $3 worth of gasoline? That's a sad moment. <laughs> the guy just looks at you like, you must live around here, huh? We have jerky in here more expensive than what you just bought, gasoline.